did you all change the match chain to the bottom? The, the older style used to be. Yeah, the older style would have had a flat cap. Like right. A, right. It was just like a and on top of the bottom. 40. Yeah, that was the cap that we took, we trilled, we glued fittings in all around. Yeah, because I had to replace the bottom. Right, so it's at some point we decided that, you know, this is, you know, all those glue joints are making, you know, they're places where it can fail. So we went and designed a, a mold, and this, this is one piece that's injection mold. The only thing we put in it glue in now. So you have to replace the whole assembly now That's right. the bottom. Not yeah, th there isn't really a bottom cap that can be okay. chipped off. This cap and this PVC sleeve, that's let me bring it up. This is a PVC weld. We actually okay. use a heat gun and weld that. Okay. Yep. okay. So we're trying to eliminate as much glue as possible. These fittings are unavoidable. Um, this is the water pressure switch fitting and the temperatures. No, they tapped in or they can... the, There's actually, this is actually two pieces. You can, uh, and it's probably this one's easiest one to see. There's this, this larger hex here okay. is glued in. Okay. And then that provides threads. Right. And this is a compression fitting. If I were to undo this, this sleeve and this sleeve and these two pieces of titanium okay. have a little piece of uh, Viton tubing on them. Okay. What you call it? The Viton tubing. Which is metal or plastic? It's plastic. It's a rubbery material. When, when I take it out of the factory, I'll show you. Cool. And all, all, all the units, uh, the new forward door off, have, have the, the pressure ratings on, on the opposite side of the door, right? Yeah, they'll be... I don't know, these are demo models. I don't know if they're going to have the... Yeah, this has a wind diagram and then a... Uh, uh, pressure chart here. There, you know, we kept the 422 there for um, uh, if for older units, but we added the 410A at least not on this one. This one's a 99. And the, they're this not interchangeable. The two refrigerants. The, they're not. You you can't swap one out for the other. You there are there is a drop-in replacement for our 22. It's called our 422B. Marketed, I think, is new 22B. There was a new 22, and then there's now a new 22B. The, the, the R number never changes. That new 22 is like pure on. It's just a trademark. It's like Kleenex. Mm -hmm. It's really tissue, but everyone knows what you're talking about when you say Kleenex. So for, um, for servicing units out there that are R22, you can still use it. The January 1st, 2010 deadline was just for us to manufacture. We can't manufacture a new product with it anymore. When we go out locally here to service them, we'll be using R22 to, to um, you know, if, if it needs it. You'll still be able to buy it at the, um, the AC company or the uh, wholesaler in your area. So you won't change it from the, the 22 to the 410? No, not out in the field, not at this point. I think the deadline on that is 2020. Okay. So it's a couple of years now. Yeah, there's a there's there's break points where they taper it down. And, and what'll happen is the price of R22 will get to a point where it's just cheaper to do it a different way. Right. Um well we we uh can still manufacture non 410A units, but we have to use our 422B, which if you had an R22 unit you could with, take the R22 out, put 422B in, and just keep going down the road. The pressures are so close so that have to change, yeah, yeah, none of the switches need change right. or anything. So it's a drop and replace. It, you can't top it off. Like if you're low on R22, you can't yeah. just top it off with 422B. But if you're having troubles with that unit and you don't want to switch pressure switches and, and like do a washout and uh, change to like 407C, this one is a drop in where you just pull out and put in. Right. Is there something on the, the data plate that says what refrigerant was in there? Yeah, right on the name plate on the unit will have the, the, the type of refrigerant it was made with and how much of the charge is in it by weight. Where's that at? I'm sorry, his questions is. Right here. Factory charge, six pounds, R22.
these scrolls from here forward. Yeah, all the 410A units so far scroll. They may at some point make one um, that's piston. Um, I'm not sure if we'll go with it or not since you know we're going for efficiency, we're going for quiet. I mean, these are out next to your pool and you want it to be as quiet as possible out there. Um, and with gas heaters being you know almost you know silent, right. it's hard to compete if you're like you know if you're like a car engine running next to you. You know, you want it, so. What as far as the scroll? Versus the piston, I don't know if you said this, what kind of expense is involved? Is the scroll more or less expensive than the I mean, if, if we buy a compressor from Copeland, the scroll is a little bit more expensive, but not a ton. Um, in the past, with the R22 units, I mean, you might be talking a couple hundred bucks difference. I mean, not, not, not a whole ton. Um, we can ask Sue that later on. It's like 200 upgrade for the scroll compressor and then 200 upgrade for the digital for controls. Digital. You haven't seen many digital controls yet. Yeah. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go through that at the end. Once you learn the unit, then to understand the digital, it's just, uh, you know, it's just 